Hello, my name is Thomas Smith and I'm a lecturer in Physical and Environmental Geography at King's College London. I joined the Department of Geography in April 2013 and today I'm going to talk to you about my research on greenhouse gas emissions from bushfires and forest fires. Globally, vegetation fires are responsible for 1 to 3 petagrams, that's 1 to 3 billion tonnes of carbon emissions, a third of which comes from deforestation fires which are therefore not sequestered by regrowth and remain in the atmosphere. What this means is that deforestation fires are responsible for up to 20% of net emissions of CO2 to the atmosphere. To estimate total emissions of particular gas, let's say methane, an important greenhouse gas, from a certain regional ecosystem, it's necessary to know, one, how many kilograms of vegetation is burnt in that particular region, and two, in that particular re ecosystem, you need to know how much methane is emitted per kilogram of fuel that burnt. This is called the emission factor. Research by Professor Martin Worcester here at King's has shown how we can estimate the total mass of vegetation being burnt from space using the thermal emissions detected by orbiting satellites. My research is on the second part of this equation, the emission factors. To do this we need to come down to earth and make measurements on the ground. In this clip, take another fire in Northumberland, as the smoke passes between the lamp and the spectrometer, the gas molecules in the smoke absorb some of the lamp's energy. We can use this absorption to tell us not only what gases are in the smoke, but also how much of each gas, giving us the emission factors. This research can involve some rather interesting locations. Here we were flown onto a rocky escarpment in the Northern Territory of Australia. The only safe place for measurements was here, and the fire was allowed to burn around us. There are still a number of key ecosystems for which emission factors are unknown. For example, we, we don't really know much about emissions from tropical feet, peat fires in Southeast Asia. There also remain many questions as to what environmental factors influence emission factors. Our ongoing research at King's aims to address these questions.